Our Tori Cooper continues our team coverage right now in the mountains where folks really had to also deal with some power outages caused by the windy weather. What are you seeing out there now, Tori? Yeah, this is what we're seeing out here in Blue Ridge, which is part of Fanning County. Obviously, those wind speeds have picked up throughout this afternoon. But look at this on the ground. There's about three inches of snow and this playground is completely covered. Residents told us it impacted some areas hitting trees and down power lines. What started as a slick overnight commute made of sleet and rain in the city of Ella J quickly transformed into a snow packed winter wonderland afternoon in areas of North Georgia. We do have our work crew out with our street department working to make sure that everything is passable in the city. Mayor elect Rhonda Haight of the city of Blue Ridge was out walking her dog in 30 degree temperatures on Monday morning when we caught up with her about what was happening behind the scenes in the city and in the greater Fanning County area after severe weather made its way across the state overnight. So I spoke with the sheriff this morning and he said that we do have a lot of power outages in the northern part of the county. This tri-state EMC power outage map shows crews were working to restore power to more than 700 residents experiencing outages in and around the city of Blue Ridge. Drivers who were commuting into the city also telling CBS 46 about some other additional roadblocks in remote areas of Blue Ridge. I saw trees fall down, block the road in the back, uh, in the back road. There's trees fell and no way to pass. Areas in and around Fanning County like Aska and McKayesville also saw sticky snow packed roads. City leaders now reminding visitors and residents to avoid some areas during this severe weather. But it get, and it gets colder the higher, of course, elevation you go. So that's those are the areas that we need to be concerned about. Now, if you're curious about an outage in your area, all you have to do is go to tristateems.com. There you'll find this website. You can scroll down, go to view outage map, and then it'll give you a live update on where the outages are and how soon power will be restored. For now, reporting in Fannin County, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.